Hello, all, Miss Kasten here. I'm going to show you how to set up Google Meet in your Google Classroom so you can get started with synchronous learning. Here we go. So I'm inside of Google Classroom, and I'm going to go to one of my demo classes, Demo Class 5. And Demo Class 5 is the title of the class. Right under that, I have the class code, and under that, the ability to generate a Google Meet link. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. When I do, I'm asked, do I want to generate the link? Click that button. Once I click the button, this little toggle will slide from no to yes so that the link is visible to students. I could copy this and put it on a Google Calendar if I would like. And I'm going to go ahead and press save. Now, for today's purposes, I'm going to copy our class code and give it to our sample student, Ms. Schaefer who's in my Google Hangout, so she can join us on the Google Meet. Okay, so now let's do some best practices. Your kids might not see this teeny tiny font, so you might write a welcome message to your class and post that in your Google Classroom with instructions to click on the Google Meet link or copy that link and put it, and then when you're doing your first Google Meet, show them how to access it in the future. All of your students will be automatically put into your Google classes, so you don't have to worry about them getting that class code. You do want to worry about showing them how to click on the link. I wouldn't say worry, but you know, communicate. So I just clicked on the link, and I have the option here to present my screen or show my face. I'm going to show my face. I am noticing that I am breaking a rule. I do have a messy background. Um, ah, so area for improvement. I'm going to go ahead and join now. Okay, I've joined and I have my one student, Ms. Schaefer, on the screen. And uh, now I'm going to navigate everything top to bottom, left to right. Actually, let's go right to left. On the top of the screen on the right, I've got this little body icons and the number two because it's just me and Ms. Schaefer in the group. I'm, I'm rude. Hey, Ms. Schaefer, how are you? I'm good. Thank you. How are you? Thank you. I'm, I am well, thank you. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and click on the little people and I can see myself and Ms. Schaefer. And Ms. Schaefer, can you mute yourself so I can see on the right how that looks? All right, so when she's muted, she's going to, uh, when any student is muted, they're going to appear muted. And then she has the option to turn on or off her screen. Can you turn off your screen so we can see what that looks like here as well? Okay, no change over to the right. Fun facts, your students will be required to turn on their screen during attendance to show that it's really them there taking the class. So I'm calling attendance. Ms. Schaefer, you here? All right, so she's gonna show her face. It's not her brother or sister, it's truly Ms. Schaefer. Check off attendance and then from there, um, you have the ability to set the norms for your class if you want cameras on or off. Um, but really, well, we'll get into what, what the students see in a minute. Also on this right, we have the ability to chat. So I can put out a question here. So how are you? And um, your students can go ahead and reply. And you do want to set your norms around chatting as well. It is difficult to be giving, facilitating a presentation and keep an eye on the chat bar. So you do want to think about how you're going to juggle those things and what kind of norms you want to set for your chat box. To help with that, over on the left hand side of my screen, I've got some emojis. And the reason I have these is because I added an extension to Google Meet and I also had, or well, Ms. Schaefer also happened to add this extension as well, and it's called Nod. And so I've actually closed the window for that, so I'll show you how to find that. If you go to the Chrome Web Store and you type NOD, right here on top, you go ahead and download or add to Chrome this extension, have your students add this to Chrome, and then we'll do a little bit of a demo of what happens if they have the extension Nod. So I can give Ms. Schaefer a little wave, and on the bottom of the screen, she'll see a wave. And would you mind doing a hand raise for us, Ms. Schaefer? All right, so it says down here, Ashley raised her hand, and I can see this. So if you don't wanna keep your eye on the chat box, but you do wanna set up a norm by using Nod, that's an option for you as well. 
Okay, let's get down to the bottom for the nitty gritties and the settings. So starting at the left, if I click down here, let me move my head. This is your just basic information about the class um, or about the Google Meet, the address, the nickname. Attachments only works if you add the attachment through your Google Calendar. So if this is synced with your Google Calendar, it's actually when you set up the event in the Google Calendar, that's the place where you would put an attachment. So maybe it's your PLC meeting and you want to see the agenda, you could put the agenda there. You could also drop a link into a chat bar as well. On the bottom, we've got our mute. We've got the ability to turn on or off our video. And then this is a fun one. We have the ability to add closed captions so that while you're presenting, it does take a second to start up. While you're presenting, the students can see, is it, it's not showing up yet, is it? I'm gonna turn it off and on one more time. All right, there we go. So that's a tech trick. Something doesn't work, just turn it off and turn it on. That's, that's the best that I got for you. But okay, so while you're presenting, your words will be captured and displayed on the screen below you. Next to that is your present now feature. So if I click present now, uh, my tip is to just present entire screen. If you do present window or Chrome tab, I have thought I was presenting and then actually not been presenting. So I'm gonna go ahead and do entire screen. But if you are gonna do entire screen, do be mindful of what tabs you have or what's your desktop or anything like that. Uh, your captions just show up for yourself. Oh, that's a good one to know. So Ms. Schaefer's saying she cannot see my captions but I can see my captions. So that's really interesting. So you can show your students that if they want to read what, let's see Let's see how it works for Ms. Schaefer. Ms. Schaefer, can you say something? Yeah. Oh, hi. <laughs> Perfect. So that's an option for your students to turn on that you can show them. All right, so I'm gonna present my entire screen, share. And so now whatever website I go to, um, let's see if Ms. Schaefer can see. Oh, Ms. Schaefer, I'll show you something that I started. Can you, uh, can you see my screen right now? Yes, that looks awesome. Yeah, so I was thinking about putting our instructions right here, linking them right here to this um, poster that's highlighted. All right, when I'm done sharing my screen, and this is a tricky one because it's very small, down at the bottom, there's a little blue button that says stop sharing. That's how you stop sharing your screen. I feel like it can get lost on a, on a busy screen. So I've clicked it, nothing happened. Okay, back from screen sharing. Let's see, um, down here on the far, far right, we have more options, the three dots for more. I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And we have the option to record the meeting. And when, can't record this while I'm recording that. We learned in take three of um, this video series. But if you do press record, the way to stop pressing record is the same way. Back with the three dots, it'll then say stop recording. You can change your layout. It, we really can't demo it with just the two of us, but a tiled view would give you 12 students. So you could be looking at all your students, but you actually won't see all of them. You'll only be able to see 12. And I don't even think you can change which 12 you're seeing. So um, auto or sidebar has your presentation in the middle and then the folks on the side. So that's a good one. And then speaker view is just whoever is speaking. I like to just um, keep it on auto personally. I can go to full screen, I can turn off my closed captions. If I click on settings inside of more, this is just for uh, external speakers and microphones, so I'm not gonna worry about that. And let's see, I can report an, rep a problem, report abuse, or um, get help. But this is reporting it to Google, not reporting it to admin or anything like that. Okay, so hopefully this gets you started with how to set up your meeting and gives you some areas to create norms around showing your face, chat bars, raising hands. Um, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to help you. Just send me an email. All right, have fun. Bye. Thank you so much, Ms. Schaefer.